Hello guys and welcome back to another video and today we're doing a normal run on brutality but we have a special guest Disappointed Giant is here with us guys Hey everyone, hey Modesto, how's it going? Amazing man, I am so happy about doing this collab Me too, How this is great you doing? I'm doing really well man, I'm doing great um, I haven't been playing that much Dead Cells over the past week or so um, So okay. I'm excited to hang and watch the run and talk with you and everything But I'm also excited to just watch some gameplay Because <laughs> yeah, I, haven't, I haven't been playing too much myself Same, I actually yeah. just got back into practicing runs After we set up this uh, collaboration thing Yeah This update is taking so long to release man the when did when did the beta come out it was like was it last fall or something like that like i can't even remember it's been so long i i, I watched the video i i yeah. sorry i made a video using uh the legendary machete and pistol oh yeah and um i didn't realize it was that long ago until a subscriber commented that uh it has been a year since they uh -huh. made the change to that legendary and oh, it hasn't wow. come to mobile yet. It was a mobile That's player. That's wild. That's so wild, man. We're probably looking at the longest time without a Dead Cells update in the game history. Oh, definitely. Yeah, because uh, going back on version notes, you know, it's usually every couple months they throw us an update and then, you know, it would come to PC and then a month later or whatever it would come to consoles. But yeah. I feel like. It's like, you know, they said the end is near, but it's like the update is not near. The update is not near. You know, which is... The end is near indeed. It's not the you update. Know, they, yeah, they should have uh, They should have called the update maybe someday or something. You know? Oh, that's great, man. So I know um, for your runs, you usually try to get, you know, scroll manipulation, the 30 door and the two minute door. Yeah, um, yeah. Which... Is, is, that, is that what we're going to shoot for here? No, definitely not. Okay. <laughs> definitely not. <All> right. <laughs> For sure not, because when I'm by myself talking, I get confused in PQ. Trying, oh. to, trying to talk and do all of those things that you just mentioned. <laughs> oh, totally, man. So well, happens, it's so... Uh, it's because yeah, if we, if we get it, level generation. That would be nice, dude. And I got to say, man, I mean, like, I, I really, pre obviously, you know, I appreciate all the extra content and everything that's come in over the years, but I feel like there are too many exits in the prisoner's quarters. There's yeah. like, what is there, five different paths you can take, Way right? Because you got... Let's count it. Yeah, because you got you got the two normal ones, right? So we got Promenade and Sewers, and yeah. then you have uh, Arboretum, Dracula's Castle, and then the dead end with the uh, showroom in it, right? Yep. So there you go. And that's not counting if there's like a lore room or a dead end treasure chest room or something like Which that. So most people use lore rooms and they add so much more useless space to the biome. Yeah. If we want to promenade, we could get the time door. <laughs> oh, that, uh, um, just missed it, man. <laughs> just missed it. But I said we were not shooting for it, so we're not shooting for it. <laughs> that's good. Well, you definitely, uh, since you have 52 kills, we definitely got the 30, so... <laughs> There's no, <laughs> yeah, no question on that one, man. Um, hopefully, get another elite that can drop either, you know, a double, double purple or a double green. So yeah. we can try to try to scroll in it too. That'd I would be great. love to do it. Yeah, but uh, uh, I don't know if you follow the subreddit. Yeah, a little bit. I don't post there, um, but I'll scroll through every couple of days just to kind of see what's yeah. going on. I don't think you know? the 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 long time without an update has been really uh, good for the <laughs> for the community. You know? Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> People are starting to get really, really delusional about stuff. Oh yeah. Well, I've noticed like uh, you know more like funny tier lists and stark. You know, uh, I've seen Lemon post some like sarcastic videos and stuff. You know, I love every it's time like, Lemon posts something. Dude, it's like everybody's going stir crazy. Just you know, like they're stuck in the house, just waiting to get out. And know? I feel the same way. You know. Yeah, man. It's like every day that the update doesn't come out, I'm like, I gotta make a shit post about it on Reddit. I know, man. And, it it's, and it's so interesting. Yeah, and it's so interesting because I mean, obviously, you know, you're you're playing the beta, you know, on through the PC, but you know, I I only play on PS5, so I'm yeah. I'm in a def I'm in a deficit in general, but I've already seen you know all the heads. It so it feels like 
I've already played it even though I don't have it, if that makes sense. Because I've seen so many people stream and so many people use all these different heads that it's like yeah. I'm missing something instead of waiting for something new, you and know? It's such a big, like, difference. Yeah. It's not like a weapon that you're like, well, I can wait to use it later, you know? It's, yeah, and it's... It changed the entire run. Yeah, and just sort of like some of the outfits, you know, like some of the funky ones or the crossover ones, like it gives people a chance to express themselves in a certain way. You know, yeah. some people might like the, you know, the black hole head or like the mm -hmm. the evil empire head or like whatever, you know, yeah, instead of just the, the normal one. It's just oh, amazing. <laughs> It's great. Oh, so speaking of Evil Empire, they just released uh, a trailer for their new game. I was going to mention that. I yeah, am man, the uh, Rogue Prince of Persia. I am the biggest Prince of Persia fan. Oh, get out. I played all the games on the PS2. Oh. Classic, dude. Like Sands of Time, Warrior mm. Within, all that stuff. Oh, oh that's great, man. man. And it, it was such an ugly game <laughs> yeah even at oh the my time. goodness yeah oh wow that so this is going to be double good for you right so you get your get a yeah. dead cells kind of roguelite and one of your one of the series you like so that's great man. yeah i i just love yeah. it Ooh, almost took a yeah. Hit, yeah so they had um they put out the trailer for it so they had like the ant kind of like dead cells they have like the animated trailer um and then a few seconds of gameplay yeah. but i think might have been Game Informer. They have like a 15 minute video that actually shows how gameplay? the gameplay goes. Yeah, no um, yeah. I'll I'll send you the link after we, we do the video. Um, I saw the but trailer. basically it shows. Yeah, there was a little bit of gameplay on it, but a 15 minute video that sounds amazing. Yeah, they show basically up to the first boss, and there's like um, it almost looks like when you get the game's equivalent of like blueprints it's kind of like you go through a challenge room mm -hmm. and at the end is where you find a treasure chest where no you can way. unlock a new item yeah it looks super interesting looks really and it's and it's i think it's just early access too so it's going to be much more fleshed out and all that stuff too you know oh man it's gonna be i i, I said it in the subreddit when i saw the i think it leaked that they were working on a prince of persia game even mm -hmm. before the trailer and, and I said it, yeah. if the game uh, plays like Dead Cells, you know, with a uh, higher focus on parkour, I'm going yeah. <laughs> to... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's fine. No, I... Oh, dude, double legendary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's going on? That's... Dude, that's so funny. <laughs> It's so funny. I, I actually, I, <laughs> dude, I don't, I don't mind the door, especially, but it's more of like for affixes and and stuff like that. I don't even see what the affixes were on that. Oh yeah, but it's it's like such a meme item. Oh yeah. Like uh, there were so many things they could have done with it, and and they are creative. You know the weapons in this oh, game, God. they are so creative. Yep. Yeah. And I feel like... Well, the, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Go, please. Go right ahead, man. Go ahead. I, I feel like they committing to the door just being a door, like, is on purpose. Yeah. You know, like, they... Of course they could make the door better. They made the Rhythm and Buzuki. They made the, the Yumi, you know? They want to make the yeah. door bad. <laughs> Right, yeah, that because it that's exactly what it is. It's, you get you get, what is it? You get what you pay for. It's like that's what's on the label. You know, it's no surprises, man. You know. And the challenge you have to do to get it. <laughs> is it yeah, true? that's yeah that that's like a meme too. You know, yeah. that's a meme too. Yeah. It's oh, amazing. that's so funny. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So, man, we, I, we haven't even talked about the run. So we got. So yeah. you, you got a. So you got a katana, and you grabbed a uh, tainted flask. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, All right. I, I was playing completely. I was planning. Sorry. Yeah. On playing completely safe. Can the door help us out in here? Oh, not like that. Uh, I was planning on playing completely safe. And in my opinion, and this might be a hot take. Because I feel like all the colors in Dead Cells, like all the three colors, are really well balanced. Uh, but I feel like Brutality is the most consistent one. Yeah. You know, when it comes to yeah. both aggressive and defensive abilities, right? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because I feel like there are some 
but like what flint and i think flawless is a little bit of a heavier weapon too but you also have the range brutality stuff right and then you yeah. just have your normal middle of the road so i you're right i, I feel like it is more consistent because you know melee tactics has changed a lot over the years it's almost mm -hmm. you know None it's almost more of a yeah it's more of a challenge instead of a purpose you know because back in the day like predator um initiative and mm -hmm. what's the other one is scheme the other one right yeah, where you do it yeah all of those used to be uh tactic scaling so it made a lot more sense back in the day um but now it's like it almost just feels like a like, like a an challenge. extra challenge where if, yeah if you want the lower hit points and you don't want <laughs> you don't want the mutations <laughs> take a take a take a uh, tactics melee weapon you know yeah and i feel like yeah. the only viable one is uh valmont's whip oh yeah because you can proc tranquility from yeah. the crit distance with that thing right and i did a complete run without knowing that <laughs> mm. and i never oh. used tranquility i did a oh. run on on tactics with valmont's whip and i was like yeah i want to change it up a bit yeah instead of doing brutality but i did not know about the uh, tranquility working with it it's oh, a mutation funny. that you can use even off color, you know, if you're using the yeah. Valmont Whip. Yeah, that's true. I mean, even if, if you take Valmont Whip Brutality, off color tranquility, what is it, like 30 by default or 25% or something like that? Like, that's yeah. still that's still a nice little, little boost. It's a really high boost considering you don't need to put scrolls into it. You know, it's a really high base, base amount, yeah. I guess. Yep. Yeah, and that that's another change that I'm really glad they made that over because it used to be... Um, flat damage instead of percentage you know so you would yeah it would you know tranquility would do it would start at like 200 dps or something so if you take it off color you're getting nothing yeah, you know but like, now it's so much so much more viable i feel like they should do this with uh initiative as well oh Make yeah that would be great base. yeah because it's it's so little you know yeah and I feel like I like initiative, but I do feel like it kind of drops off, you know, as as you start to play later yeah. in the game. But um, if it was percentage based, like that'd be that'd be awesome. Maybe, maybe we can get them to squeeze that in on their way out, you know, <laughs> before leaving. Maybe that's what's yeah, taking exactly. them so long. <laughs> the... Well, that's something that like secret. I've been hoping, like, all right, maybe this is taking so long because they're finishing all the legendaries and they don't want to say anything in case yep. it doesn't get done. I would. I would be so stoked because then it wouldn't feel to like unfinished, you know. Yeah. It wouldn't. Yeah, that would be amazing. But don't want to don't want to get my don't hopes up. But I haven't I have been thinking about it, you know. <laughs> haven't thinking about it. Same yeah. for me. It's just that uh, I feel like we maybe. Oh, <laughs> that actually screwed me. <laughs> oh, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> maybe the door is not that good. Who would have guessed? Yeah. Uh, I feel like. After I feel like we got maybe, uh, how, what's the word? We got too used to having a good time with Dead Cells yeah. because the developers were so great. Uh, but when the investors and whatnot got in involved, maybe, uh, which by the way is just me assuming because I haven't read anything about the. Because there was a, an interview that a ex dev made calling out the Motion Twin or Evil Empire or something. Oh, it was uh, Deep Knight, right? Yeah. I yeah, think yeah. it was. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, also, uh, Extra Scroll Fragment, extra right? Extra Scroll Fragment in PQ. Yes. <laughs> nice. I missed it. <laughs> I didn't catch it. Oh, it that's was... great. But yeah, I saw that. Deep Knight was, uh, he was pretty vocal. Because there was, I think there was a Reddit post first and then. He actually had like a, a commentary afterwards to oh. talk a little bit more, but I saw that man. Yeah, it's on. It, he was he was one of the original ones that that I, I don't know how much work he specifically did, but I know he oh. worked on like a lot of the engine and particle effects and stuff like that. So he's been he's one of the originals, you know. Oh, I see. Mm. Yeah, so it gives an uh, gives a lot of. Thing to think uh, a lot of things to think about, you know, like about what's yeah. going on behind closed doors. Like, imagine if the right. update is like done, there's even a bow on top of it, you know, it's ready to be shipped, and someone is telling you to not release the update for the game you worked, I don't know, since even before 2017, right? Because that's when we got it, yeah. So, um 
Yeah, Dead Cells I think was 2017, but Evil Empire took over around 1.3, mm. which I I don't remember exactly what the date was, but it's been they've been they've been developing for like five five years I want to say. It's been a bit, man. It's yeah, been a bit. It's been a long time, and it's it's a shame. Yeah, but it yeah. happens. And if, yeah, and if it it allow it allows them to work on greater stuff like a Prince of Persia game, I know it's a it's an IP that's been sitting still for a while, but still, it's one of the great ones, right? Yeah, and Ubisoft is a huge publisher too, so just on that, like they're going to get a lot of press, a lot of visibility, you know. Yeah. So. So this is one of the situations where I'm gonna maybe go a little quiet. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Because I hear you, man. I saw that. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Well, all right. So I noticed. Uh, so you picked up Predator, and we got a got a torch here, which is a little bit higher level than the level four uh, katana, katana that we had. Yeah. yeah. And uh, good move. Good move with the Predator, trying to sneak things out a little bit during the curse. It is uh, what yeah. I've been doing. So uh, we were talking about how uh, I was talking about how brutality is a bit more viable. Yeah. And one of the reasons I think that is because of the two mutations. Oh no. <laughs> and, oh, Spartan sandals. <laughs> we have. Dude, to. we're getting. Yeah, I mean, like we're getting the door. We get Spartan sandals. <laughs> like, what else? Dude, just just look at the item loadout you have right now. <laughs> oh, oh my, my god! god. <laughs> All right, we well, at least we got. There we go. Good good amulet, man. But that's it's like the games the games messing with us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> maybe maybe I will I will get cursed and have to fight Conjunctivius cursed. Oh god! Like yeah. <laughs> my god! I'm sorry, but you were saying, man, about the brutality being like the most viable. Yeah, see how easy it is to lose yeah. yourself in live commentary? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> like, you want to keep talking about stuff. It's not like I want to lose track of what we were talking about. But the game just gave right. us three legendaries in like 15 minutes, right? <laughs> yep, three three legendaries that we, we would not have chose if we had the opportunity to, right? right? Like, would you would you use Wish on Emergency Door? Oh. Like, has, has anybody ever <laughs> done that? <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> Right? <laughs> oh, I didn't Maybe by accident. It. Yeah, probably. Uh, I, I think it was, it looked like double red, but I didn't, I didn't see any affixes, but... I'm always right. trying to go for an extra jump. Yeah. Like sometimes over having uh, more scrolls on color on the amulet. Mm -hmm. But the route that we're taking, I feel like it's not as necessary as for when we go for a queen, for example, where you need to jump a lot. You know, oh yeah, fight, getting, uh, getting through the lighthouse and yeah, absolutely. So yeah. so awful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is so as far thing. as yeah, go ahead. No, it's so funny. I mean, but just to say, like before we started recording, uh, Modesto and I were both just talking about like how excited we were to do this. Um, so I'm definitely I'm catching myself talking more and like <laughs> I just want to keep talking. So I'm sorry if I'm interrupting you, man. So no, please, it... please, right ahead. Yeah, we're we're actually gonna do this a lot. So let's yeah. not make any not a not even a big deal. Let's not make any deal of it. Uh, whenever yeah. you just um, we talk over each other, let's just give each other a pass and see who keeps talking. Oh my god! Yeah, man. That's, that's yeah. another good one. I think that's the third third double red that we've gotten in this biome. Yeah. It's crazy. I got a lot of uh, lucky yeah. runs when I was prepping up for this one. Yeah. Okay, we got some use out of it. Right? Okay, couple <laughs> couple poison stacks. Right? It also oh. oh my god. <laughs> Dude, you just found a synergy, man, because it can't be broken by the enemies, right? Yeah, the legend. So you can, you, can, dude, so you can pop the door down and then just use that to get extra damage from the Spartan sandals. No way. So that's wild. No way. <laughs> no freaking way. Okay. Okay. So th th there's a small caveat, which is uh, yeah. our bombs and probably affix arrows are going to be able to destroy the door. Hmm. But it's fine. Yeah, synergy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, the other thing though is that the legendary kicks enemies from farther away, so maybe the grenade won't be won't hit it. You know? Yeah. 
Oh uh, my god, yeah, but but you yeah. have to have the legendary Spartan sandals and the legendary door. <laughs> uh, that's not specific at all. That's not specific. <laughs> no, it can happen. It literally happened right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's funny, man. <laughs> so how? Um, I would just so okay. You're gonna go cursed. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I I didn't even realize it was cursed. It's just that this mm. is the route of uh, I've been practicing. Yeah. And uh, still talking about uh, about brutality, about choosing brutality. We haven't been able to finish that. Uh, <laughs> I feel like brutality is the best one because if you go, and it's actually the best one for this route that we're taking because you can get a whole lot of flasks just from killing elites, you know? Mm. We're going to be going to High Peak Castle as well. There are, what, three to four guaranteed elites there? Yeah, sounds about right. Well, yeah. yeah, there's, there's, yeah, there's the four guaranteed in the key rooms, and that's not counting anything that's outside of those two. It's extra, yeah, and yeah. tainted flask also spawns one extra elite, so there's one more on top of that, you know. Yeah. And predator just pretty much trivializes most biomes, right? With invisibility. Yeah. So, would you like to choose the third mutation? Oh man, um, I mean you. I will the go joke, with melee. Okay. You know, I was gonna say the joke is you could take uh, support for the door, but uh, <laughs> that's a, that's a waste. Well, are you? Um, I know we're kind of like memeing with the Spartan sandals, but what do you yeah. think um, as far as weapon goes? Are you gonna switch back to the torch? Do you think, or like oh. whatever? You want to find something else, like? Yeah, I definitely want to switch up on ancient sewers because it's gonna be it's gonna have level ten items in the shop as well. Yeah, and it has a guaranteed weapon and skill shop, and yeah, mm -hmm. weapon and skill shop. Yeah. Okay. So definitely, but choose whatever mutation you want. All right, so let's go back to the list again. Um, and are you gonna are we gonna respect before conjunct? If you want, yeah. Yeah. Um, what we could do is you could throw the Spartan sandals in the backpack and mm -hmm. use uh okay <laughs> use the parky pack or um you know if we end up finding like a vampire killer or an oiled sword you could keep the torch in the backpack if you want to do that um I'm just thinking because I know I know you don't love melee um yeah. we don't really need killer instinct um open wounds would be fine I feel like that's kind of a default but yeah I was going for open uh, wounds but I, I kind of really yeah. like porcu pack because we can then get more use out of the Spartan sandals yeah right? and that'll be good too because once you once you grab something out of the shop too we might be able to find something that'll be beneficial Ooh. either side yeah 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 only thing we cannot do is find a ranged weapon because then we will be actually wasting porcu pack right yeah I always think you mean about... to, you mean like putting the range weapon in the porky pack, or just Use if we have weapon. Oh wait. Yeah, like f for the main. Uh, yeah, if we just have it in the main weapon, it doesn't matter because you can do um, you can do range normal and then uh, melee in the backpack because oh, porky pack. Yeah. yeah, it's not it's not triggered by the attack; it's triggered by the oh, roll. Oh right. Yeah. I was thinking about acrobatic pack. Right. Yep, yeah, you can, whatever we find for a weapon is, is going to work, since oh, you can man, just roll that's, through. It's yeah. so amazing. And did you see that uh, when I rolled through the bombs, I actually deflected a... Uh... Oh, no. It's <laughs> 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 really nice. too lucky. It's level 10 as well. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right, because the elites will drop a higher level gear than, than regular enemies drop. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, oh man. Mm -hmm. We're actually gonna wait a bit before going for the, sh the weapon shop as well. Yeah. Uh, I think well, the. Oh. I think the. Yeah. I think uh, uh, the Spartan sandals are actually deflecting bombs as if I was using Armadillo Pack. Yeah, so the you can actually use the Spartan sandals to kick bombs. Uh, oh. So I, it sounds like it's procking that because it's in the backpack too. Oh so it's probably not as um, not as reliable. Like I, I don't know if it would kick back all the bombs the way that armadillo pack would, but it looked like it kicked back a few. Yeah. So, yeah. So there you go. So so far we found uh, two two extra uses for Spartan sandals <laughs> that we didn't know about. <laughs> right. 
Wow, it also hit that guy. Funny. Oops. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, it's like it ignored the shield and popped him back anyways. That's great. But I, I, I also feel like it was... Oh, I hate these guys. Okay, let's... Let's not die oh here. My yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Completely Got him. as planned. Yep. So since, like I was mentioning earlier, I don't, I don't have this on PC, so I haven't played the beta. So the the new enemies, right? So there's the the one that has the wand that shoots the skull at you. Yeah. So if you if you get hit by the skull, you get cursed with that one, right? Yeah. And then what about the the one that you just killed there? The guy that looks like he has like the the horn or whatever it is. Like what's the what's the deal with him? If you kill him, you get three curses. Is that what it is? Yeah. He just. It's actually really cute. Uh, mm -hmm. oh, it's actually really cute. If we find another one, I'm gonna leave him alive because he actually doesn't damage you. Oh. He just uh, you can deflect the bombs. Damn. Yeah. Oh my god. There we go. <laughs> and yeah. that was interesting too. So you know, Porky Pack has like that cooldown, like it's got a small cooldown or whatever. But oh. you just deflected the bombs twice back to back. So I wonder if it's not tracking that as an attack and it doesn't make the cooldown. Yeah. Do you know what I see? Like it. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, that, oh, that's wild. Oh my god. That's amazing. That's it's wild. like a It's like a wish version of uh, acrobatic pack. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I'm oh, going to kill him. But as you can see, he just follows you around. He doesn't do okay. much. Okay. Let's just Oh, I see. Okay. Let's just get rid of him. But, Got it. Yeah, that's what he does. And uh, the one that I hate the most, actually, is the third one that we haven't talked about. Okay. Because he actually uh, stuns you when he hits us with the... With the shockwave that he has. It's parryable. I'm going to show it. Okay. Once we get to it, but... Uh, I feel like the Cursed Biomes... And again, it's it's difficult to yeah that guy. It's difficult okay. to talk about this sort of stuff. Yeah, that that attack. He also oh, curses you wow. with the beam that he just did. Sure. Okay. But the first attack is kind of like a shockwave. I was cursed, right? Wow, <laughs> you were cursed for like a like a split second. I didn't even see it. <laughs> And that's that's I mean you, you know this, but that's what's scary about these cursed biomes. Like I said, I haven't played them myself, but it looks like you can just be going along your way, and then you get cursed, and you don't even realize it. Yeah. You know, because one of those skulls might come off the screen or whatever happens. Man, that's wild. And it throws a lot of uh, uh, strategies that we usually have away. You know, like usually when you find a rift. Your first instinct is to like, you know, if, if you're close to the 60, you go for the 60. Mm -hmm. uh, if if you're not going to get the 60, but there's still more biome to explore, you just go through the rest of the biome to get a little more health to safely go through the rift. But if you leave, so so usually the the idea is to leave the rift for later. But what if the oh. last enemy in the biome that you kill is one of those and you get cursed? Oh right yeah well i uh i think it was earlier this week i watched your uh curse cursed sword run that you have and you went through like what three i think you went through three uh challenge rooms on that run it was the cursed sword so, only video yeah right? the yeah i'm sorry yeah the cursed sword one yeah and yeah, uh so just... i feel i feel like you could do that but at the same time like <laughs> absolutely man because then if you that's the worst thing is you know and that happens sometimes now like I, I won't plan out and I'll, you know, I don't take my own advice. I won't plan and I'll get to the end of Ancient Sewers and there'll be a curse and there's no enemies left and I yeah. just don't take it. And knowing that you're going to miss that extra scroll is such a bummer, you know? And it's such a difficult decision to make, right? Because you th there are a couple of things that you need to know how to do. Like you need to know how to parry. Well, not you need to, but you need to know like the enemy patterns and, you know, you need to use how, uh, you need to know how to use weapons. But needing to pay attention every single biome that you go to you know like i need to leave 10 enemies because there's a 10 percent chance of a curse spawning in this biome yeah. 
Doesn't that sound like a bit too much? <laughs> yeah, it's it's a pain, you know? <laughs> and I, I think I in one of my videos, I think it was the maybe the 2BC or mid game. I can't remember which one. But I mentioned doing that because it might be helpful for people. But you're right. It's a lot of extra foresight, you know? Yeah. It's... And and I know this. But game... I feel like. Yeah, go ahead. I was just going to say, I feel like there's a couple biomes, like the ossuary. There's a lot of those rooms that have enemies that don't go anywhere. Oh. So it might be easier to kind of skip one or two of those rooms. But yeah. like in a level like this or, you know, the sepulcher or whatever, like it's harder to it's harder to do that. You know? Yeah, completely. And yeah, you get to a point where there are a lot of stuff that you can do. Like, yeah, if you get killed doing that, that's a skill issue. But you can prepare for every single scenario, right? Yeah. So yeah, you didn't leave 10 enemies uh, in Ancient Sewers, so yeah, you played badly, but dude, you're also managing your health, your malaise. Uh, if you're playing on normal, you don't know what weapon you're going to be playing with, you know? Yep. So... I, I, try to, I try to do a mix and match of giving people advice in the videos, but also admitting that I literally have thousands upon thousands of hours in this game, and maybe my advice is not the best for someone that just wants to beat 5BC, you know? Right. So we, we keep talking all the time about how Baseball Bat is overpowered and, you know, we shouldn't use it, but if someone bought the game and they got through 2, 3, maybe 4BC and they're stuck, like, you're gonna tell them not to use the bat? They're gonna experience uh, experience less of the content, right? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and I feel like, and this has just been, you know, my experience with the bat, and I've, you know, a couple other people I've seen on Reddit or whatever too, where, you know, it's such a one note thing where it's really powerful and you can do yeah. some great work with it. But I feel like after a while, people are going to want to do other stuff, right? So like you're saying, yeah. it might get them that five BC win, get all the content, and then they say, all right, well, let me try something else. But then. Uh, they they already have played the game, right? They already have yep. seen the... Oh, well. Uh, let's go. <laughs> can, can we finish up, please? Sick. Is that 12? <laughs> nice. Yep. Same as That's caverns. Beautiful. That's beautiful. So I feel like we're, we're going to stick with the door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, I, I really like uh, Hemorrhage. Yeah. I know it's a slower weapon, but I was maybe considering using it. What do you think about these three? Nah. So, these three? <laughs> 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 well, I guess, um, I mean, so, I mean, Hemorrhage is good. What, um, I don't know. I'm just trying to think for a second. Yeah, Hemorrhage is good because it'll stun Conjunct. If we, yeah. if you, if you hit her with it, yeah. So that would be, that might be good. But. The only issue we might have is ammo, but let's just get right into it. Yeah, yeah let's and do it. If it doesn't work out, we will drink all the flasks we need because we can. That's, yeah, we'll get them back. So, yeah. <laughs> no, no reason not to. I've actually been experiencing doing this. I, we're not going to do it now if I can help it, but I've been experiencing with just drinking a flask even without needing one uh, before the first boss just to get the damage buff which is pretty decent right yeah 56 yeah it's a good buff and the, the timing too 20 seconds is a long time <clears throat> that's that's a great buff yeah sometimes it's the whole fight yeah oh we were respecting respecting sorry yeah it's all right well, yeah, it's when you were, when you were talking earlier about you know the having one of those enemies be cursed the cursed enemy the end of the biome with the cursed chest or the um excuse me the challenge rifts like I feel like there's a couple bosses where uh you know concierge like timekeeper you can risk it you know take you find go to the shop and get a ranged weapon you know yeah. and then take them out from afar like that'll be a lot uh, I feel like there's a, a better chance of surviving with a curse on those bosses but coming into <laughs> here. You know, coming into Garecrow oh might God. be a little more challenging. Forget it, you know. Yeah. Some bio, some uh, some enemies just. Oof. Okay, I guess we're not getting the flawless. Some uh, enemies are really difficult to do flawless. I think. 
Like, in the one that I think is the most difficult is actually Mama Tick. Those tentacles weird. coming up from the ground. The, yeah. the, the, the dodge phases can be tricky. Yeah, absolutely. Because if there was a pattern, I could live with it. You know, even if it was a hard pattern. But there's no pattern, right? Yeah. Like, now I missed uh, the, the dodge with the laser because I was bad at the game. Not because it was completely random. And sometimes, too, like, you know, people will camp out all the way on like the right side by the wall there and it works but sometimes they have two tentacles back to back in the same spot so yeah. even if you parry a roll you immediately get hit by the second one so it's tough man that's the problem with the rng part yeah like you can get lucky like i was doing a a shark run like and i got a flawless on mama take yeah like, it's such a slow was weapon. it the uh shark only run was it? I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I want to say no. <laughs> yeah. Which another That's insane funny. thing to do, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's cool though. It's cool. Like it's cool to take something completely on its own and just showcase it in a way that you might not if you have a shield and a trap and all this other stuff, you know? Yeah. In a way, but, I feel like it yeah. actually. Like for example, bat is really good. But that only is not, because oh, right. you cannot get uh, the enemy rooted or stunned, unless you're using melee, but <laughs> it doesn't work all the time. Yeah, man. And the shark, you can get the root with the third attack. Yeah. Right? So, hmm... So how are we feeling about routes? Um, it's up to you. I mean, you're doing you're doing all the heavy lifting. So <laughs> <laughs> whatever you're feeling. I mean, I think um, what do we get? Like three off color scrolls, right? Is that what happened? Yeah, I I uh, I remember reading that the amount of scrolls is the same, but you get one extra scroll fragment on sanctuary. Yeah. But we already got an extra scroll from PQ. Right. So, I'm feeling Graveyard. Yeah, let's do it. Oh man, I feel like I'm playing on the normal speed Nor uh, most players should. We missed the time <laughs> door. <laughs> Which is normal. Dude, a lot of your runs end up at 25 minutes. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great, man. Wow, so uh, great work on Conjunct, by the way. So there was only that one... Would you only get hit once by the tentacle, it looked like? Oh, I also... I think I got hit... Yeah, I got hit a couple times by the laser and once stuff. Twice. Yeah. yeah the, but, dude, smart smart keeping the door, too, for the poison affix. So you can get the extra crits. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Completely yeah. off... Uh, completely... Completely off my plans, but... Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was not paying attention, which is another thing that... Like, is a game within the game, like, paying attention to affixes. It can mean the difference between a win and a and a death, right? Or, yeah, because you're right, because those extra affixes can make a boss fight just go that much quicker if you get your synergy instead of sitting around and taking a bunch of extra damage, you know? Yeah, especially but... with necklaces. I feel like necklace affixes are are a little bit slapped on because we're also going for the higher scroll count always, right? right. So you just look at the at the color and hmm. I mean Yeah. So as Well our, especially we still have we still have Predator too. Oh yeah, that that that's great. Yeah, because there's so many enemies here too with all the the rats and everything. Right. Um, that's gonna be great. And this yeah. has a bit more reach. Yep. Which is better than Hemorrhage, which has zero. <laughs> yep. Like I feel like it's really good for single targets, uh, especially bosses. That's why I really like Hemorrhage. Elites too. It's great to stun lock an elite. Yeah, you're pretty much just stun locking every single enemy <laughs> that you come across, but only that one enemy. And there are so many more enemies around them <laughs> all I the know. time. 
Yeah, it's, t it's tough taking, and that's one of the things, like, you know, when every weapon kind of has a place, and I feel like Hemorrhage doesn't have a place where there's eight or nine enemies on the screen. Oh, you yeah, know, it's just definitely. too too slow, you know, but one-on-one, -on -one, bigger enemies, like, it's great. Yeah, and so. I kind of get it, how it's, like, an item that's locked behind 5BC content, because I feel like this is the, the item that you need the most, like, game knowledge to use. Mm. Not the most, but one of them, you know. Wouldn't make sense for you to unlock it on... Oh, that was weird. On, uh... I don't know, like, Ossuary or something. Right. Yeah, because you figure you gotta know enemy patterns. You gotta know how to position yourself so that way you don't get hit. And it's also, like, a niche kind of... It's a niche kind of weapon. You know, yeah. it's, it's kind of... Yeah, it's very specific. And it's one of the weapons that, in my opinion, actually play better on 5 BC than lower BCs. Mm. Because enemies teleport, so you can cheese that. Yeah. They're always teleporting one at a time. Yep. So, uh, there are a few questions that I've been planning to ask. Yeah. Uh, and I, I feel like we're not going to get to them. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Well, one thing I did want to say is you talk about, you know, uh, hemorrhage being, you know, locked behind 5BC and it's like a really specific kind of weapon that you need a lot of knowledge for. I think it's funny that on the other side of that, you have Sonic Carbine where you just hold the button down and just oh, there, yeah, you, no, no skill required. Just hold it down. Not take 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 a trap and support and barb tips and <laughs> just hold the hold it yeah, down. Right. Put ammo on it. You're set yep. for life. <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then there's um, Tesla coil in the distillery. <laughs> ah, it's... like no other reason to go there, other than mm, jump, other than nice. the Tesla coil. Oh yeah, but the thing that I've been meaning to ask, it's it's a, an ask in, uh, with a little bit of a um, compliment, mm -hmm. but I really love, I love music in general, and I love that you do your own music for the channel. Yeah, thanks man, like, thank you. And the, and the song is awesome. When it first, when I first saw your videos, I think you had released a couple. Maybe. Mine's a little bit foggy, but I was like, where is this song from? It's amazing. And then I, f I, I think you posted a little a while later, like the full video, the full track, you know, on video. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, was it the uh, was it like the dancey one? The uh, the one with like the accordion and all that stuff? Uh huh. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It sounds like it's from a game. Yeah, that's exactly yeah, the so one. I've I listen. I mean, obviously, I listen to a lot of game music when I'm playing video games. But I also collect video game soundtracks, so I've been listening to that music for a long time. So that kind of bleeds into the way that I write and everything. And it's interesting because uh, most of the music that I use for my videos is, uh, you know, it's guitar and I'll, I'll write it or whatever. But that one is completely synth. There's no live instruments on that one, and it's oh. funny because that's that's the one that sounds most to me, at least, you know, the most like a video game. And it doesn't have me actually playing anything on it. I just no programmed way. it. You know? Yeah. That's so nice. God. Yeah. That was a, but that it's, was a tough curse, right? I know, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're talking. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I, I was paying attention. Yeah, dude, you, you rocked it. That was amazing, man. It's beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. So, yeah, it, but, it, it sounds like... And, and I was more... Um, I was more baffled by the fact that you you also because how you said it you also do record with live instruments. Yeah. It's so nice. Yeah. So thanks. Yeah. It, it's I've been playing guitar for for a long time and basically you know I've I've been writing music for years and years and when I started putting videos together I didn't know what I wanted to do for a soundtrack so I just started going through all my old files you know so some of the stuff that is in the videos is you know so that that song that we just talked about I wrote. Mm -hmm. I think it was like 2010, 2011. That's an old one. You know, some of the stuff I've written recently, some of the stuff's been sitting around on my hard drive for five, six years, and I just started putting wow. it in the videos. Yeah. 
and it's it's been it's fun for me too because it's just you know it's just like another level of personal touch but it's also i feel like i haven't done a ton of stuff with my own music so it's nice to be able to put it somewhere you know oh, even if people whether people listen to it or not i'm just glad that i'm i found a place to kind of put some of that stuff you know oh yeah sort of yeah. uh I, i felt that way with uh with my gameplay i felt yeah. like i was at a point where i was playing somewhat decently but I wanted to do something with it, you know. And starting the channel was was kind of that for me. Yeah. So, what? When was the moment when you realized that you wanted to start, you know, putting your runs on and and you know, putting your your gameplay out to the world? Like, when did you start to realize that's what you wanted to do? Uh, so, I I always like like to record my gameplay with my friends, you know. Uh, if you look at the first videos in the channel, it's like war zone clips, you know, Call yeah. of Duty clips. Um, but uh, then I thought that I could try to play some Dead Cells because I was getting good at it, and it's it's I've been playing Dead Cells ever since the release, even though I didn't post. Yeah. But I felt like I liked the game enough to put time into it, you know, learning the mechanics and the weapons. Mm -hmm. But still, I was like, maybe I don't need to do a channel for that. You know, I don't need to start recording videos. But as most of my subscribers know, and you as well, I am Brazilian. Uh, and I speak English ever. I've been speaking English uh, ever since I was a kid. My and taught me you know the rest i learned on my own and after i got to go to college i had no more time to practice with my aunt with my aunt or with classes because i worked as a, an english teacher for a bit as well before going oh, to college get out that's so cool <laughs> yeah it's uh it's something that like i always liked teaching uh but The money is just not there, you know. Yeah, it's not even up here in the states. It's not good either. Yeah, <laughs> like, I, I was... unfortunate. You know, it's such a it's such an important part of any culture and society. You know, it's and the, the money's just not really there. Yeah, you know? it's the most important. You know, it's been yeah. the longest time since people actually discovered stuff. So there, we need a lot of people to teach us the stuff that has already been discovered, right? Yeah, <laughs> and. Okay. That 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 real that's really important, but we don't get a whole lot of incentive to be teachers here in Brazil, in the world in general, but a lot here, you know. Like the money I was making is was just awful, and yeah, I know I was a kid, and I was just starting out, but it was really awful, even for a kid just starting out, you know. Yeah. And and then I I thought about. Practicing my English because being an English teacher uh, helped me train my English, you know, helped me keep talking well and on the know about English and stuff. Um, but if I ever got to, to college, ooh, that was a big hit, I wasn't going to be able to practice anymore with the classes. So the YouTube was a way for me to, you know, do everything I wanted. Dude, that's so cool. Ooh, that's not cool. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> that's exactly that's exactly how the channel came to be. And even today, now we've reached the a thousand subscriber mark. We're over it. I Hell yeah. I've monetized the channel. Yeah. Uh, we're actually expecting The first payment? <laughs> hey, hey. Well, that, dude, I'm so happy to hear that because, all right, we get, okay, so this is the second extra curse, too, right? Okay, we got one in the ancient sewers and one here. Wow. Maybe cavern curse, be. cavern curse could be scary, man. Yeah. I feel like cavern curse and uh, high peak castle because it's just so late in the run. Yeah. <laughs> you uh, know? If we have one in high peak castle, I'm not picking it up. Yeah. I just feel like we can do this one because I get a lot of curses in here, uh, surprisingly. I don't know why. It's probably one of those 
Ooh. That was a bit difficult. Yeah. Oh no. Oh boy. <laughs> Use what the door. That? No, just kidding. <laughs> Use the door. <laughs> Use the door. <laughs> I gotta remember there's an elite there. <laughs> yeah. But. <laughs> oh man, curses are. Uh, Imagine if there was one of those bombs in here as well. You know, the uh, one that just damaged us? Yep, yeah, the, the trap, the bomb traps there. Yeah, oh, I hate those, man. Goodness, you got this, man. You yeah, got this. Predator just makes your life so easy. There we go. It would have been the greatest timing ever if I died, like, in the last curse stack, you know, saying that it was easy with Predator. <laughs> yep. Oh, that would have been, I mean, it would have been a bummer for the run, but that would be a great clip. <laughs> a great clip. No, we would have to post it. No. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. But, dude, you were saying, so you monetize. That's great. And, it, it, you know, you put a lot of content out, man. You put videos out. What is it, like maybe three or four a week or something like that? How many, was, how many do you usually do? I was doing a video every two days. Mm -hmm. And I usually just... Uh, I have a day off from college that I just record videos, you know, and I, I record like 10 videos back to back <laughs> <laughs> and I just schedule all of them. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I, I know that you scheduled stuff cause you showed some of the behind the scenes in some of your videos. Oh, um, so, so, you know, some people when they have a day off, they'll like binge watch a TV show. You just binge play dead cells and I record everything. Oh, that's amazing, dude. That's great. That's exactly the, the, the thing that I do. Yeah. We're really going to take advantage of Tainted Flask. Yeah. Like, it's probably going to give us a flask back pretty soon, I think. Soon. Yeah, because we, um, you popped one in, was it Graveyard that we popped one in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I, I feel like we're getting close, because that, and now, let me ask you, so, is the does the elite number drop because it was nine elites right yeah. is it still nine or does no. it does it go down a little bit i think it ooh, oh my yes God. it can go down all the way up to four oh, i don't think it awesome. can get less than four amazing so we're doing five now uh i think once we, you get to 30 scrolls or maybe even less because we're doing five right now let's see Still five. Still five. Well, I think when they changed that, because it used to be it would only fill when it was empty. Yeah, you, you know. But the fact that they changed it to to make it across the board is so great. So great. It's what made it usable. Oh my God, we're still not getting it. Huh. But I I still have some things that I don't know about it. You know, there's sometimes when I respec my mutations, and I'm not sure if I'm. You know, the enemies that I killed before respacking, like I had, I had Tainted Flask, killed a couple elites, respacked, got it back, you know, got it again, because I only wanted to replace like Porky Pack, for example. And I'm mm -hmm. not sure if it counts, you know, if it tracks the elites that I killed before respacking. I feel like it does. But I don't know. It would be nice if it did, but I hear you because it might it might just reset. Like the game might just think once it's gone, it stops the count. You know? Yeah, because I know it's probably easy to fix, but like they they have to 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 erase it, right? Because you can't just pick up uh, you can't just pick up tainted flask on PQ kill some enemies, you know, not on PQ, mm -hmm. but early game and then get back to it and have the the same amount of elites to kill. Oh yeah, like he almost put the number on pause, right? Yeah. So then later on in the game, when you take it back, the number would still be there. And the other thing that might be happening right now is that uh, the count might have reset after we drank our second potion charge. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay. Because so we might have been at like three or four, and then you drink the potion, and it goes back to zero? Yeah. Is that how you're... And now I have to get three or four again. I hear you, man. Yeah. You know? Or the five that it's requiring. Because it feels like we've killed a lot of elites, right? Yeah, it has. <laughs> it feels yeah, because like I think we've... Lot. 
Yeah, we've hit, I feel like we've hit at least three, if not four so far in this biome alone. Yeah, so maybe so. We're, we're just one off, but I've been yeah. feeling that we were one off for a really long time now. Yeah. But I, So I, let me ask you, yeah, so when you, I, when, I mean, obviously, like you said, you've been playing this for this game forever. Do you get a feeling right before Explorer's Instincts pops that you know it's going to pop? Yep. Okay, because that happens to me too. I don't know if that happened to other people, but it's like you know the feeling. You're like, up. Oh, I'm gonna go up this elevator, and then here it comes. You yep. know, or yep. it takes a little while for it to pop, and you start wondering what's going on. Yes. And then it <laughs> pops, and there was like a giant section before, like that uh, wall that you have to climb up from toxic sewers to go to corrupted prison. You oh see that, sure. And you're like, well, that that goes to corrupted prison, so I'll just go there when I need to head out. And then Explorer's Instincts uh, doesn't pop, and you're like, what's going on? And then you go up Corrupted Prison to Corrupted Prison, and there's a bunch of enemies, like a legendary. Uh, it's like there's a whole like prisoner quarters <laughs> size level just waiting for you up there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that's the beauty of the game, right? The, the RNG. Speaking of, uh, found, a, found a rift. <laughs> As well as a bonus curse yep. in the same level. <laughs> Fantastic. It's beautiful. And we're going to have more scrolls because we're going to go through High Peak Castle. Yeah. So it's not like we're skipping um, it through Giant, right? When you go yeah, directly to Hand of the King. Because I'm, I'm trying to remember. I don't have the numbers. I can't remember in front of me, but I think there's two... What is it? There's two on two triple stat scrolls the scroll behind the door yeah. and then two off colors is that what it is there there are two off colors and yeah. two fragments two extra fragments okay uh but i i'm not sure about the other the off color ones the ones that you're asking about <laughs> i'm not sure i'm gonna pull up the biomes map i'm now i'm curious i feel like i feel like I, I should know this because I've <laughs> been through that level so many times. Same. Uh, what do we got? Yeah, that's it. So there's uh, two fragments, two on color, or excuse me, two two scrolls of power, and then two dual stats. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. So it's like you roll the dice because you might you might be able to get um, you know good dual stat, which I don't I don't think you've gotten this run. I think all the duels have been bad purple and green, right? They're all bad. Yeah. Oh, so that's why we we found so many curses and rifts, and we're still just a little above average. Yeah, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> I know sometimes, especially in uh, the first, like the first time I was doing showcases, and I, I feel like in general we try to min max stuff way too much. Oh yeah, and I hate it the fragmentless challenge that I had to do <laughs> <laughs> it was the worst but it, it it does feel okay to play the game that way you know or just putting all of the off color scrolls into your bad colors you know even yeah. when, when they're good but it just feels so good to melt giant like we're about to do oh yeah just so, uh, pinch action what's the yeah, I was going to say, what are you looking for? Are you looking for something melee, something quick? We could go with Ferriman's Lantern, but we're not going to have ammo for it. I was actually thinking about maybe uh, finding a face flask and doing Vengeance. Yes. I know it's cheesy, but I feel like for the first live comm that we do together, we kind of have to cheese a bit. Yeah, let's do it. We're, of course, still going to keep the door. Okay. <laughs> keep the door till the end, right? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> it's ours. We found it. Yeah. Uh, but now... I really love Star Fury, but I feel like I use it way too much. Mm. I guess we could keep the Penchaku, maybe? Yeah. Hmm. We could do this with a giant. Yeah, bounce it around. Yeah, and I feel like we're gonna have to get rid of Portu Pack anyways. Mm. To make room for 
Oh, to get vengeance in there. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's smart too, because you know we're not going to get any crits from the Panchaku, so vengeance oh, yeah. will. Yeah, vengeance will give it a nice little bump. And I will gladly use Glaive in Hypey Castle. I, I forgot for not going from Giant straight to straight to Hand of the King. So Vengeance. What else? Maybe combo? Do you think it's mm. worth it? Yeah, we can go for combo. Maybe. Yeah, and well, we can do shieldless because we cannot use a salt shield on on giant. And maybe open wounds? Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, that's great. And we do this. Dude. So now Love we it. definitely lost the elites we killed with Tainted Flask. There we go. Alright. Oh, it's beautiful. It's too, it's too easy. There it is. I'm <laughs> there so it sorry is. for giant. Man. Dude, there it is. It's this is it, right? <laughs> yep. There we go. <laughs> like it's such a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful. Well, it's so funny because like you get such high uh, combo multiplier, and it almost feels kind of silly because the damage from Panchaku is so low, but like yeah. it just it just melts so fast. Yeah. It's crazy. Because yeah. I, th I I I think the like the combo meter it caps at like ninety nine hits, but the damage still goes up. Just doesn't show you. Mm. Like we can do this, right? Kind of still want to use the door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's almost like a, a mini challenge run, right? It's like, can you can you take the door all the way to the end, <laughs> right? Lock an item slot. <laughs> would you would you so take an uh, emergency door from toxic sewers all the way to observatory? <laughs> 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 would you have the courage to do it? <laughs> find out. <laughs> Click here and find out, right? <laughs> It's riot. Uh, I feel like we could still go with Predator. Yeah. As long as we keep hitting enemies with uh, Soul Shield, we can do this. Yeah, I'm just going to go to Hypey Castle Great. to get our flask back. Okay. Like, we could go to Distillery, right? We we love that biome. We were talking about it going to the too. Right? I actually I actually do enjoy the biome. It's, <laughs> it's kind of like, well, I, when I, I mean, you remember it's there was High Peak Castle was that was it for so long, man. Yeah. You know, and now that once yeah. they popped that in there, it was just nice to have a change of pace. But it is, it is tough, dude. It's it tough. Is. It is. It's it's one of yeah. the gamiest biomes. I feel like, like it it really feels like you're playing a a rhythm game or something. You know, like. Well, the, their main inspiration was uh, that first Mario game where he is, you know, Donkey Konging. Donkey Kong, yeah, right? absolutely. Yep. Oh, I hate these guys. Yeah, oh, me so too. it really feels like a game, and I've been getting to to distillery a lot. And if you learn the bomb patterns, like there's not much the game can do to screw you over, right? Well, it's like there's like a lot of things in this game that I feel like on their own aren't too bad. Oh. <laughs> like, we, we, we were just talking about it, right? Just hold it down, right? <laughs> um, I feel like there's a lot of things in the game that aren't too bad on them by, their, by themselves, right? On their own. But when you couple like the distillery bomb patterns with the explosive, explosive barrels yeah. plus the, you know enemies that are teleporting and the spikes like it's just a lot to kind of deal with you know it is it is it's not easy yeah. uh and it really gets to you like the the barrel guys oh first good hey call. got one <laughs> the barrel guys that i think they're called living barrels yes that's yep oh my god the, the, the explosion does so much damage 
it's 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 ridiculous I, I feel like there's some enemies like newer enemies that evil empire put in where their damage is just so high like i feel like those yeah. do a ton of extra damage um like elite uh gold gorgers like i feel like medusa like i feel like some of the the normal damage values for them are really high compared to oh, a lot of the yeah, other stuff that's right you know yeah. uh the the rapiers from dracula they did a lot of damage in the bone they even lowered it you know the bone thrower guys oh yeah they had to lower the damage because it was too insane yeah i mean that's like i it's like i almost respect it because that's you know those enemies were from the original castlevanias and they could ruin they could ruin yeah. a game like really yeah. quickly but like that those didn't need to be nerfed like that was that was excessive yeah <laughs> you yeah. know especially when you go outskirts it's so early in the game before you really have a chance to kind of get a build together and get your hit points up it's it's tough i feel like outskirts was planned to be like uh later on you know and for some reason they decided to put it put it put it early yeah like it feels like a higher level biome like it should be like after the first boss or something like that you know yeah the enemies are really tanky and i feel like uh i never and, and I, once again i i know it's just because i've been playing the game for thousands of hours but i never make it into the eight minute time door <laughs> oh same <laughs> dude yeah um, unless you do zero bc Assault shield tech, you're not gonna get that door. Yeah. <laughs> you're not gonna get it, you know? Yeah. And and you can try to like min max the, the routing, you know, go through and we're back at full flasks. Yep. Beautiful. Oh, so you got that's wonderful. Right? Yeah, there we go. That's amazing. I think you can get yep. like up to two flasks in Hypey Castle. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're back to three, right? No, I'm just <laughs> we might, we might. Yeah. Oh my god. But we still have the big food that was cursed somewhere, I think. Yeah, there. Okay. Yep. So we, we the, can still got the, got the ugly food on the other side of the map. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which, by the way, uh, legendary shovel. Uh, Turns everything you find into clean food. When I saw you put that post that video, that blew my mind. I I it blew my Unbelievable. mind. Unbelievable. Like it literally makes it a five BC must. Like alongside <laughs> all the items that are like uh, legendary. You know the ones that are, when are legendary you have to pick up. Oh, we're missing a key. Oh, we miss. Was it? Uh... Oh, I don't even know which door we green? missed. Green? Yeah, green. Oh yeah, green, definitely green. Yeah, green one. Yeah. But that's great. I mean, you just throw it in the backpack, right? Take it with you and then use it, equip it when you start banging, banging through the floor and in the walls to get the extra food, man. It's yeah. wild. And it might oh. actually work with, with, with it being in the backpack. I, I, I read some comments on the post of people telling that they think it worked in the backpack, but I never got it up again. Oh man. Yeah. Kinda makes you want to drink. <laughs> With an elite there. Yep. <laughs> oh yeah, because you figure if you take it into Astral Lab, there's still gonna be a few a couple yeah. of few elites in there too, by default too, so. We're gonna have a free flask. Possibly two on Astrolab as well because there are four elites, right? That spawn for sure. Yeah, there are. Yep, there's the two key ones and then the two by the door at the end. Yeah. So we'll have at least one free one. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. And then you can buy the one from the food shop. And you're you're sitting on a pile of cash right now too. So much money, which is another oh thing God. that. I feel like it's more akin to my playstyle and not something that happens all the time. I feel like I'm way too stingy with money. Mm. And it's good because we can get to Observatory and Spoiler Boil. I, I don't know if we should keep calling it spoilers. The, the game is like 10 years old, right? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I, yeah, Rise of the Giant, I think, was 2018 <laughs> or something, you know? Yeah. I, I think it's one of those things where, you know, if people are coming to your channel to watch a 5BC video, it's yeah, like you can kind of expect, you know, I feel bad for people. Like we talked about, you know, looking through Reddit, I do feel bad for people who just are trying to find like a gameplay tip, and then they're like, "Wait a second, yeah, <laughs> who's the last boss? <laughs> like, what is this? You know, who is this guy? There's no way you yeah. see a spoiler tag in a subreddit yeah. and you respect it. Like, oh yeah, this is gonna <laughs> ruin the experience for me. Let me just not look at this post that has one and a half thousand uploads. Yeah. So I feel like we can still. Oh. Wait, well now, we either wasted a mutation or should we use Penshaku or Carbine? Hmm. I mean, you could go could go brutality tactics, right? Do uh, ammo, mm -hmm. uh, maybe support for the door, and then dude, know, whatever point blank is at this point. What is it? Thirty. That is. Thirty four. Yeah. Oh. We could, well, we got a lot of money too. So if you oh. wanted to do that, we could reroll combo off, maybe, you know? So I'm sold. <laughs> yeah. We just need 8K or 16. Yeah, we're going to respect two more times. Yeah, we're fine. So, yeah. Mm. Ammo. Support. <laughs> <laughs> and point blank. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> it's beautiful. Let's not even talk you know, about the fact that we have face flask and we're not using vengeance. I <laughs> we might not even need it, you know. Yeah. But that's so funny. Who needs that is so skill funny. slots? <laughs> right. Oh my God, but yeah, I mean, you just brought up a good point. You mean you mentioned being stingy with money, and it's it's also just like being smart too, because like at this point, you know, you know what biomes have better gear and you know it's not worth respecting everything at after prisoners quarters you know so it's almost just like yeah. you're being smarter with your resources yeah 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 it's like that yeah. uh but i'm that, that's another reason that i'm always trying to go for the time and kill doors when possible because that helps that strategy you know yeah. because if you have good gear if you get good gear from the oh that still hit us Oh my god. Are we gonna drink? <laughs> Maybe we're yep. gonna die. <laughs> oh no. no oh, fine. we got this. There we go. <laughs> oh my fine. goodness. Just another Beautiful. Day at the office. Totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> no trouble at all. Oh my god. Wow, that was, a big <laughs> that was great, dude. <laughs> I was thinking, like, is there gonna be a window? where I can drink, right? Or is he yeah. just going to attack me? And I, I guess we, we kind of made the right choice. <laughs> yeah, dude, definitely. I mean, there's, Ooh. like you said, like, especially because you ate, I'm trying to think, did you, you ate the infected food, right? So yeah. he is his... faster. Yep. Yeah, so that that's tough. That's tough to find a window, you know. I guess we can go with this yeah he was attacking faster yeah that's right yep. that's another thing that i always try to manage and i feel like maybe you don't need to be so like worried about it malaise mm -hmm. but the fact that enemies attack faster you know just messes with me well, yeah, I mean, you get used to a certain cadence, you know, a certain timing of all the enemy attacks. And then if you're up to five or six malaise or whatever, you're like, wait a second, I just went to parry and I missed it. How come? Yeah. You know? And that's yeah. the exact reason I cannot use melee. I know it's good. Yeah. You know, once we finally, once I actually find, finally get to make the tier list, which by the way, uh, your tier list, amazing. Thanks, man. Uh, Thank I watched you. The, yeah. the first one in its entirety. And it's so good to hear people talk about Dead Cells, you know? <laughs> I love it, man. Thank you. I have so much fun. I haven't watched the other ones yet, the the shield and ranged weapons one, uh, ones, but I'm just saving those for a rainy day, you know? Yeah. Well, they're, they turned out... I couldn't believe the first one. I mean, you know how it is. You, you do some runs, you start talking, you do whatever. Like, look at that. Another use yeah. for Emergency Door. Beautiful. 
This is the, this is you're putting on a you're putting on a clinic here, right? It's, let's <laughs> let's talk about legendary emergency door. Let's talk about Spartan sandals. It's gonna be <laughs> you know. It's gonna be hard uh, another rift, dude. Yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Beautiful, man. It's so we're funny. Have to, we're gonna have a little trouble deciding the title of the video. Oh, that's right? so funny. <laughs> There's so many yeah. clickbait options. <laughs> yep. Uh, but we were talking about uh, uh, oh the tier, the tier list, tier yeah. List. yeah. And I remember I just recorded, you know, like I did the other ones. I just sit down, I just kind of start talking, you know, just to sort of see. And like when I looked at the video and it was like two hours and twenty something minutes, I was like, "There's no way." <laughs> There's it, 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 and it's like time for me, like talking about dead cells, playing dead cells. Times go, time goes by so fast. Yeah. And even me. now, I'm like, "How are you already in the astrolab?" Yeah. I feel like we just I feel like we just got on the call and started joking around and now the the run's almost over like it flies it. by <laughs> but it fl you yeah. know it flies by I get the know? same feeling exact same feeling yeah. uh it, it's a thing you love you know it's it's yeah. a game but I, I get more enjoyment out of it than I get uh, other games that I play I I play a lot of FPSs but I just love playing Dead Cells and seeing people play and you know that's why I really yeah, got and... in love with your with your channel uh, when it started. I was actually talking about this. Uh, I said I was doing a couple runs to to warm up, you know, mm -hmm. get back to playing. But I, I, I yeah. was still recording them, and I was talking about you uh, about how like even though uh, you like you started a Dead Cells channel uh, later, you know, the game is almost over and stuff. And I started later as well, you know, we're not sitting with the OGs, you know, people have been playing for a really long time. But I get so much uh, love and care from uh, for the game in your videos, you know, it feels like you really like what you're talking about. And it's so awesome to watch on anything, you know, and it, yeah. it makes Thank time you. fly back, it makes uh, time fly by, right? yeah thanks man yeah I, it's and i mean we we are in our oh, we get the flashback that's beautiful yep. um in our own way we are ogs right because like you said you've been playing since the beginning i've been playing since the beginning too but it's just you know our channels came a little bit later but yeah i think we both in our own way like we both have a lot of love for the game right and on, yeah. on the other side of it too if you didn't have a love for the game the way that you do you wouldn't be putting up videos so much you wouldn't be into season two you wouldn't have done the <laughs> you know one dot at a time you know yeah. um but the, but i i genuinely feel you know and i've played I've played a lot of games, right? I've played a, a not a ton of rogue lights. I've played a decent amount, you know, like Hades, Curse of the Dead Gods, Returnal, um, Gungeon. Oh, but I, I feel love, like uh, Returnal. Yeah, yeah man, and it, oh, what a game! What a game! But I, I feel like even outside of the rogue light genre, I've played a ton of games, and to experience Dead Cells, it's just different. There's just something different about it. You know, it's different yeah. than other roguelites. It's different than other games. And, you know, you were talking earlier about, um, you know, when you, you started your channel and, you know, how you were using it to speak English more and stuff like that, too. But um, the other part of it that, that I was going to say is Dead Cells is a very watchable game, yeah. right? Like every you put out, like you said, you put out a video every couple of days, you know, you're getting a thousand views per video easy. Yeah. And it's like people just like to watch it. And they just do. from my own experience, like, and I became more of like a YouTube watcher and a Twitch watcher during COVID because, you know, I was I was in my house and I was watching other people play Dead Cells and stuff. But like, I will just eat dinner and I'll just have a laptop on with, I don't know, maybe Hank, <laughs> maybe Hank is streaming. Do you know what I mean? Or uh -huh. I'll put one of your old videos on or I'll put someone random on just because it's so pleasing to just get into. Yeah. Right. Because you never know where the next uh, the next rift is going to be. You don't know what's coming out of the next treasure chest. You don't know what's going to restock in the shop. And it's just really exciting, you yeah. know? Yeah. It's and, so exciting. And it's also good to watch people play in ways that you would never play on your own. Yep. Like things that you wouldn't do. Like uh, I was watching a... That's a bad spot for a, for a wall room. <laughs> I was God. watching um, a streamer, a Brazilian streamer, uh, couple of viewers you know uh, mm -hmm. playing dead cells and like 
He picked up Wish in every single run. And he went for a... He went for a tactics build every single time, where he tried for the entirety of the game. Like, he wouldn't pick anything else up until he had a legendary boy's axe to oh play on, on tactics. And he would huh. never touch the color green, even if it had a $100 bill on it. <laughs> 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 and he kept winning. And I was like, I never pick Wish up, right? Because, I, I don't know, I don't... <laughs> there are other mutations that I pick up. And this guy, right. religiously, Wish, Disengagement, and Point Blank, or Ammo, or some other thing, but always Wish. And he kept winning. That's unbelievable. Yeah, and I was like, dude, that's amazing. That's something that I would never see if I didn't watch this guy's channel, you know? Right. And um, Daniel has those videos too. What is it? The one wish at a time? Is that what he? Is that what he calls them? Uh, wish adventures. Da Daniel son. Wish adventures. There yeah, you go. And that's dude. that's another great idea too. Yeah. You grab something, you know, two or three levels in, and just take it and see what happens. And he know? also makes good use of game knowledge because Ancient Sewers has the highest level of gear and the highest amount of shops. So when he does the wish adventures, he always go to ancient sewers and he uses wish yeah. to wish there. Because you can get level nine items on. What's the biome leading to Mama Tick? Oh, uh, the morass. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's only one shop, and it's either a weapon or a skill shop. Yeah, that's right. So yep. you've got to. Yeah, do and you get the can. ten. You get the ten out of the sewers. That's right. Yeah. Yep. So we're at the end game here. <laughs> I can't believe this. Beautiful. All right. So what's what? How are you feeling, man? What are you? Uh, what are you feeling for for mutations? Do vengeance? Uh, since we're here, and we have yeah. all flasks, you know, and we have face yep. flask. <laughs> I was thinking, <laughs> vengeance, tainted yep. flask, and uh, emergency triage, just so we can actually drink them during the fight. Yeah, get them quick. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep, that's great. And that's my foolproof uh, build. And it's what I've been practicing for. Three or four runs yeah. before yeah. this one. So now that I know that we can maintain a somewhat uh, uh, reasonable conversation, you know, we can make sense. Uh, we could go for a tactics run or survival run or something. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, I think I think for our first time we did we did pretty good, man. And listen, all the credit to you because you've been talking, you're hosting, <laughs> you've been playing, no you've been way. doing like I said, you're doing all the heavy lifting. I'm just sitting here watching. <laughs> no way. You know? uh, I'm just yeah. so glad that we got the opportunity to do this. Me too, man. Me too. I'm really happy. Yeah. And we could close up with a flawless. That would be amazing. Right? Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Just tick right away, dude. It's beautiful. However, it's not necessary, beautiful. right? Uh, <laughs> I mean... It's just something we can not, do. I have a feeling this is going to happen. <laughs> All right. Like, what I'm doing here is I'm timing the attack that has the highest... The, the, the part of the attack that has the most DPS when he stops drinking. So now, yeah, he's... He's dead, poor guy. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> nice! <laughs> amazing. That was amazing. It was a good finish. We got hit on Conjunctivius, but... And Didn't on... get hit where it really mattered. You yeah. know? That's it. That's that's the part yep. that, that people watch. You know, they jump to the end and they see, well, did this guy finish the game? Oh there my he god, he, he beat 5vc with the emergency door. Wow! <laughs> right? <laughs> I think I, th I threw it once in this <laughs> boss fight. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, man. It's beautiful. Yeah, and wow. we're, we made decent time. Uh, we are, yes. We've been recording for, well, yeah, 51 minutes on the clock, but we've been recording mm. uh, for one hour and 24 minutes now. Stop it. Yep.
Did it feel oh like it? Oh my god. No. I, I'm like I was saying, the game flies by. Like that run did yeah. not feel like 51 minutes. Never yeah. mind the call being an hour and 20 minutes. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's that was so Wild. good. Unbelievable, man. This was this was so much fun. The, was, this was great, dude. It was a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. It was the first time for both of us. Yeah. And we did pretty damn well. I think so. I think we did great. I think we did great. great. I think uh I would uh I definitely was very excited when we first started talking about stuff. So yeah. uh like I mentioned, sorry if I got like a little little ahead of myself trying to jump in and, and say things, but uh Not this was this was so much fun, Modesto. This was great. This was awesome. Was amazing. Uh yeah. so let's just do the closing uh part of the video, then we'll get back to talking. Yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Leave any comments and suggestions down in the description. And yeah, uh, you want to say something, uh, Jayan? Yeah, man. Uh, great run, Modesto. Everyone, thanks for watching. And uh, good luck out there with your runs. <laughs> That was amazing, man. Yeah.